What's up guys? It's Missy. I am back with another SimCity Build-It video. I'm going to be designing my capital map here and kind of catching up from yesterday. So some of you guys may notice that you have a side pass on your screen. Hopefully everybody was allowed to participate in it. I know sometimes EA likes to exclude people for no reason. Uh, there was a couple of times where there was some side passes that, for whatever reason, weren't on um, people, certain people's screens and, and on others. And it had nothing to do with their city level or anything. So if you're somebody who did not get this side pass, I didn't have to update my game. But uh, maybe you do. Maybe reboot your, your game and your phone. I don't know. But sometimes it just happens that way. There was a couple times that uh, some, several of us didn't get it. But anyways, um, anyways, so here is the side pass. It's got some of those walls, some storage. So keep in mind, because this has storage in it, there's going to be storage on the global market. I have already been seeing quite a bit of it on global. So take advantage of that and start shopping the global market, okay? And these things here are also, you know, they're they're not a terrible uh reward considering <clears throat> the price of them but they did allow us to earn these rewards through uh, purchases and through contest to mayor's assignments so you'll get 20 pink plum bob points for every assignment that you do oops i must have fell asleep last night okay and then notice how the upgrade uh residentials are only five that is because you get them for actually doing the residential upgrade. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of things here. I don't play competitively, so I don't have to worry about making the right choice right now. I just apparently play competitively on everybody else's game. I, went, I meant to stream earlier, but it's the day of the contest and my phone has been blowing up. The, the night of the contest when it starts, my messenger just goes off the hook. And then into the next day when people wake up, it just goes crazy. So I've been trying to catch up, getting back to everybody uh, the best that I can. When this round of war ends, we have several spots available. We've had a couple people take off for school. So we've got some spots open if anybody's interested. You just have to watch the group rules video. If you're somebody that joined in and you were removed, I either didn't know who you were or there was one instance where we had like four people with the same name and I couldn't get a hold of anybody to figure out who they were, if it was like a feeder or whatever. So if your name was Sky, you were removed because there was like four of you. Okay, now I'm going to do a couple of these and then we're going to go over there. I'm going to show you guys what I did while you guys uh, were off the stream here. I didn't do a whole lot without you guys, but I did make a few changes. Come on. Damn game is being slow as hell today. Oh, for Christ's sake. Okay. And give me pink drinks again. Let me get a couple of those down. Start these minerals, and then we'll I'll go show you guys what I did. Oop, that wasn't a mineral. That was plastic. I hate when that happens when it's with something like feed or something. It sucks. What's up? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I hate that. 
sucks big time. Or when I'm trying to do like uh, textiles and I grab the sugar or the glass. Oh, that sucks. Or the one I really hate is when you're clicking too quickly and you accidentally click to purchase and it's like uh, textiles or, or electric and it's just an obscene amount. That shit pisses me off to no end. Okay, so as you can see over here, I put my Eiffel Tower here. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it this way or not, but I'm trying to decide what to put at the front of... Hang on. I see the stream quality went down. Hang on a second here. Okay. It's raining here today. Weather's shitty, so bear with me on the connection. If it gets bad, I'll go park somewhere else. Okay. Uh, I moved the Eiffel Tower over here, and I started putting some stuff. I hate that. My map is, like, destroyed. These bastards. I can't rearrange when my map is destroyed. Okay, it's nighttime, so I'm going to give it a minute, and then I'll show it to you guys, because you can't see it right now anyways. I need to grab some sugar. Jesus, I have way too many minerals here. Let's just start making these into something. About to have more minerals. Yippee. Also, anybody who's on my friends list, remember if you see something in my depot that's been there longer than 10 minutes, you can have it. If you're hurting for something or you want to know if something is up for grabs, you can just shoot me a text on Facebook. As long as I'm not recording, I normally have my chat bubbles, you know, up. Okay, get a couple things for sale here. Anybody tried designing anything yesterday? Or, oh, remember, you guys, do not forget, if you see anything halfway decent on Global, you're supposed to be taking pictures for me. Oh, I hate when that happens. Just spend an hour doing that. They need to change the way we change our price here. It drives me nuts. Yep. I do. I'm going to go see if I can find some sugar. Oh, wait, it's light. Is it light? Okay, cool. So, no! All right, we're going to go. We're going to go over here so that my stream might be a little more stable. Let me double check to make sure that Wi-Fi button's off. Okay, there's that weirdo in that truck from yesterday. So, as you can see here, I put this little floating thing. I extended the road and I put the Plumb Bob Bridge here. I took out that other bridge. I had two bridges, the two cobblestone bridges here yesterday. I moved that. I put the Eiffel Tower here. I, I like the way that this is now, but I haven't decided entirely what to do uh, in terms of like what's going to go up here. 
And the reason that I haven't got too technical with it is because I want to see what we get for Valentine's Day first. Because if we end up getting either something new or a couple more of, let's say, like these balloons or, or something, then I'll, I'll do the display then. Now, my next alternative was going to be to put the Eiffel Tower back and put like this uh, romantic holiday plaza thing up there and see how that looks. I moved this castle forward, but I could easily put it back. I tried putting this one here and I didn't like it. Um, I just, I haven't decided entirely what I'm going to do up front, but I'm thinking that this this plaza romantic thing theme that I was doing up front is kind of being shifted over there to that heart lake. So it seems like I'm going to be doing a different theme up front now, which now you understand how one, you know, designing one thing turned into designing everything. Okay. If I was able to get a couple more of the cupids with the, the shooting arrow things or whatever, then I would be able to kind of go back with the display that I had up front. But honestly, I think that I need to go with something castle-wise or I don't know. We'll figure some, I'll figure something out. But that's my thoughts so far. Let me show you guys. Okay, now I'm in a different area, so hopefully I get better reception here. So I'm going to put this back just for a minute so that I can try something out. <laughs> Pure shit, huh? That good, huh? Which one is that? The 41 or the 24? So, okay, so here's this thought. You know, I really like, I think I like that better than the Eiffel Tower. What do you guys think? I think that looks badass. I think that goes well. And I I think... Hang on just a second. I might do... This house here. Let me move a couple things around here. Just a second. Put that there. Here we go with the damn eye rolling emoji. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know why the stream stopped there. That was because of the Wi-Fi. Now I've got that button off. Oh my god, with the fucking train. Jesus. Okay. I hate lumber. I might be playing that later today, actually. I'm going to be probably buying that game called Dark, though, and trying that out when I get home. Okay. I think I'm going to move this house. Let's see if I can... I also bought PS Now for 10 bucks, So I've got access to all those games. Okay. I mean... I don't know if I like that there or not. It's kind of hard to tell. What if I was to Let's swap that real quick? Oh, that's better. And then put this one here. Okay. And then I'll probably put a shorter tree. I 
don't know why the stream is so bad today, you guys. I think I'm going to go with the palm tree here. Why would I visit it? What do you need? I'm going to your city one time. Which city? What do I need to do? Because then I'm going to focus on what the hell I turned the damn stream on for. Damn, you good. I'm gonna have like 16 million buckets of paint. I think I've already got like 50 or 60 paints. <laughs> Thank you. Tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment, I think at like 6.30 or 7, and then I'll start the stream after that. So probably 8 o'clock my time or so. I woke up late today or otherwise I would have been here earlier. I've had really bad lump on my left side of my stomach, so I already have three tumors in general, and now I've got probably like three more. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that looks cool. I actually like how that lights up. I do like that. Okay. That's in all my videos. What the fuck are you talking about? Almost all of my descriptions have that when it comes pre-done with omelette. The only time it's not like that is if I backspace it and put, like, the club code or whatever. But it should be in 90% of my live streams. And honestly, like, um, if you go back and look, I put a lot of descriptions in. I don't know, I'd say, like, the last, like, 20 or 30 that I uploaded, I, it was supposed to upload them all at once. I did it on the computer. I'm supposed to update them all. I never went back to make sure it did it, but I'm pretty sure it did it. Anyways, I don't give a shit about that. So, what am I doing right now? It's supposed to be... Ah, that's right. This mess. This disastrous mess I call a city. How to fix it. So, I took that out, so I'm going to have to put something else there. What to put there? Uh, a 96? Is that like on a test or is that a general score? Okay, hang on. I'm trying to see. Hey, Joshua. This one actually looks really cool if you put it on the frosty map. So I might save that for the frosty map. I might actually put, I think I'm going to put this one up front and put something else back there. That one I like up front. Hey man, you know, at least you care about your grades, you know what I'm saying? Like, it sounds like it's a good score if it's out of 100. But, settling, I mean, I wouldn't let it get you two down, but settling for less is uh, 
no good either. So, I mean, at least you care, right? But yeah, I wouldn't get too upset about it. I don't know anything about uh, the way that they grade in school nowadays. Shit, back when I was in school, you just had a fucking grade. <laughs> you know? It was like... Damn, streams down. <coughs> Sorry guys, there's nothing I can do about that. If it keeps doing it, I'll, I'll move again. Well, what kind of math are you doing now? How many minerals do I have to make? 50? Okay. I don't think they're doing... Are they doing any school in inside school? I don't think they are. Yeah, I know. It it shows me a little thing on top of my screen that says stream connectivity issues whenever it buffers. If it keeps happening, I'll, um, I'll move again. All right, so... Right here, I've got. Let me get all this shit out the way so I can see. Okay. Yeah, but that might be your level. If you're a low level, you might not have it available. But who knows? I some people at low level might have it available. I don't know. Oh shit! When did I start a gold token on? Oh, that's right. And I was talking about the minerals. I totally spaced that. Whoopsie. <laughs> My bad. And that right there is how it happens. Okay. Let me see if I can collect some of these gold tokens. Nope. I'm full again. So, I think I like this this store being here. You know, I the only thing I don't like about this thing is that they put a Christmas tree with it. It just, I don't know, kind of bugs me, but whatever. Um, I don't like this brown house being here. I know that. That's going to go somewhere up here. Hang on. Okay. You know what houses might look kind of cool here? It's a couple of the Latin homes would actually look pretty over here because they're colorful. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to move, you guys. I, I see the stream buffering. I'm going to move. I don't know why some days it's like this and other days it's not. <clears throat> it's weird because like there's certain places where the moment that I go anywhere in like in within the vicinity, I drop all connectivity to the stream. But other times like in when I do other stuff on the internet, I'm perfectly fine, but then I make a phone call and then I have like no service. It's like the other day when I'm plugged in my phone, I have a charger that works for my tablet, but it doesn't work for my PS, PS4 uh, controller. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, not even at all. Not even if you, like, wiggle it or anything. And it's like the tablet requires more power, so there must be, like, maybe two different size power supply, like, cords in the thing, and it only recognizes a certain voltage, maybe? I don't know. I could just be talking crazy. I don't know shit about electrical. It's got to be a logical reason, though. Okay, so hopefully this area here is better.
Is that a serious question? Please tell me that was a joke. Oh my god, what the fuck? Seriously. I'm going to restart this stream. I think I'm going to... If it does it one more time, I'm going to restart the phone in the stream. Because this is ridiculous. Should not be buffering this fucking much. You guys, come on, man. I don't know if you're trying to be funny or what, but that shit's retarded. You think I didn't try to unplug it and plug it back in? That's like asking, did you turn it on? Is it plugged in? Like, come on, dude. No, I hadn't thought about that. Never occurred to me to unplug it and plug it back in. It's like when you tell somebody there's something seriously wrong with your game and they're like, did you try uninstalling it? It's like. I just told you how I went through every damn thing and there's, I can't figure anything out. How I've tried everything. And they're like, but did you uninstall it? It's like, yes, and I just told you how I uninstalled it. And then they're like, did you try to install it again? It's like, yes, the fuck? SimCity did that shit to me. I fucking send them a big long email, screenshots, okay? Big long essay. Explaining to them how I've uninstalled it, I've reinstalled it, I've done it on like six different devices, I've tried this whole list of stuff, and I get an email from them saying, please try uninstalling your game. And it wasn't like a, a generated email that they just send everybody, because there was specific stuff that they typed to me that would have to have been to me, you know? They're like, we see that your other friends are having issues with this, just like you. And I'm sorry that that Bob is experiencing this, but you, ma'am, should try to uninstall your game. It's like, really? Did you see the, you know, big long essay I wrote you where I said I did that 10 fucking times? Like, Jesus. Make my head explode. No, I mean, I get it, you know, that you want to go through the whole process of like, okay, try to restart it. Like, you start with the obvious, you know what I mean? But that's the obvious. It's like, I just told you how my damn core didn't work for my PS4 controller and how it works for my tablet. So one would think that the person probably tried unplugging it and plugging it back in. Would you not? I mean, do you really need to ask? I mean, odds, odds are, yes, I tried plugging it back in, you know, more than once. Most people wiggle it around and unplug it and, you know, look at it and plug it back in. I probably did it 25 fucking times. Oh, I could just beat my head up against a rock. <laughs> I mean, come on, you thought about it, right? You just just watch off. It's like when you call the cable company. Those people really get me pissed, man. You call them and you're like, hey, my internet's not working. I've reset the router. I've reset this. I've done that. I've been at this for four hours. And they're like, okay, we want you to go to your router. And we're going to do a, a reset. So go ahead and unplug your... Okay, it didn't work. Yes, I just told you how I spent all day doing this. Okay. It's like... What the fuck? <laughs> you know? enough to make you want to beat your head up against a rock is what it is. I get that they have like a, a process that they have to go through and they have to try, you know, but still, man, it's enough to drive you batty, especially when you're not somebody who, I mean, I'm not like a, a genius when it comes to technical stuff. I don't work at Geek Squad, but I mean, I get the general gist. You know what I'm saying? 
I do understand to plug the computer in. I, I did get that part. It's like the other day we were, I, I was, um, standing in Best Buy, and there was a lady looking for a Wi-Fi extender, right? Now, I told you guys that I live with my cousins. Well, we have an acre of property, and so uh, we don't get very good Wi-Fi connection Oh, an acre away from the router, obviously, right? So we tried those Wi-Fi extenders. We've tried everything, and I've done extensive amounts of research. And we ended up going with a mesh network. Now, the mesh network is badass. We're pretty much, like, sitting right next to the router, and we're an acre away, and we get a 120 megabytes per second connection. So when he's sitting there, he's talking to this lady, and she's like, oh, I'm about a half acre away. And it's just, you know, flat land. There's no uh, major trees or anything like that. And he's like, oh, well, you're going to want to go with this $120 Wi-Fi extender. And I'm like, uh-oh, you know, that thing's not going to do shit. And he starts telling her that that's her only option, that she's never going to have good internet if she's that far away from the router and all this shit. And I was like, well, not if you go with a mesh network. Like, I kind of butted into their conversation and he starts talking about something or other, and I'm like, that's not what a mesh network does. You know, it's on a daisy chain, and I started talking about how it automatically transfers the people to the, the right uh, connection, like 5G or 2.4 gigahertz. And then he gets pissed off, and he's like, oh, well, if you know so much, you sell it. It's like, it's not my job. I just didn't want her to waste her fucking money. But as a matter of fact, I guess I will. <laughs> like, and I talked her into buying a fucking mesh network for like 250 bucks. But turns out I ended up knowing a friend of hers, which knew me from the crime page. And she ends up hitting me up. She's like, dude, I have 120 megabytes uh, per second connection out here now. I'm like, yeah, exactly. Told you. Well, actually, no. In our case, it wasn't. So we are on a fiber optic network. And so um, we tried everything. I even bought one of those, uh, what do you call it? Net Night gear? Might be night gear or net gear. I can't remember. That thing was like $400 router. And I'm like, nah, fuck this. The mesh network is the way to go. We have so many people that game in my house. We've got my oldest cousin. He games and streams on his phone. Then we have my other cousin that games, and then my uncle does Netflix, my cousins do Netflix, and then me. So it's like, we're still getting 120 megabytes per second, an acre away. And we only have three satellites. We could easily add a fourth satellite, but we have the, the Orbi mesh network. That thing's badass. It automatically routes you to the best connection instead of having to like disconnect and connect to the 5G, you don't have to do anything. It just automatically puts you there. So if, J if Jacob were to like come home and jump up on the thing, it would put him on his own 5G because it's a tri-band. So we've got two 5Gs and one 2.4 gigahertz. But if I'm just streaming Netflix and not doing, you know, video games, it's not going to put me on the 5G. It's just going to put me on the 2.4. So I think it's badass. It works for us. I tried everything. But I'll never have anything but a uh, mesh network now. Anyways, that was my point. You know? People also, they take... Um, they take the people that work at the store as the word of God. It's like, they're just employees. Most of them really don't know very much, honestly. About whatever it is they're selling. Okay, where the hell? So far I haven't dropped the stream again, so I think it might be okay. Watch now that I say that we're going to drop the stream. Okay. I can finally start this stupid task.
we're on a uh, fiber optic internet now, but when we weren't it, when we were with Comcast, it was so horrible getting tech support. Oh my God. It was, it was horrible. You get somebody on the phone that doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. And then they disconnect magically from you the moment shit gets serious. And then you sit on hold and then, don't, you know what really gets me? Them, those uh, automated things where it's, you can't press a button, you have to actually speak what you're trying to do. And they're like, sorry, we didn't get that. And then you go through the whole process and they're like, hmm. After 30 minutes of playing this head game, now we're going to transfer you to somebody that can better assist you. You get transferred and they're like, hello, Comcast, click. Really? Click. Back through the process again. That's enough to make you want to smash the fucking phone. Or you get somebody that's like, baka, 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 baka. And you're like, what? I can't understand you. And they're like, baka, 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 baka. It's like, oh my God, dude. Put somebody else on the phone that I can understand. And they're like, okay, I'm going to transfer you. Click. It's like, oh my God. Yeah, I don't do well calling places. <laughs> As you can tell. The one that really pisses me off, you guys, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know if this pisses you guys off, but this shit has me, like, ready to just literally beat my head up against the steering wheel. You finally get somebody on the phone, and they give you this, like, two-minute-long intro. They're like, hi, welcome to Sprint, where we love you, and da 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 and they just keep going and going and going, and you're finally like, okay, shut up, shut up. I just want to tell you what's going on and what's wrong, and they're like, okay, now how can I assist you? It's like, oh... Are you done now? It's like, Jesus Christ. And they look, they act like you're being such an asshole. Oh, maybe you are. Maybe, they're, maybe their job sucks. Maybe they have to say it. I don't know. But I'd be like, answering the phone. All right, what do you want? What's your problem? Let's get this over with because I don't want to be here either. <laughs> Well, I couldn't think of anything, you know, that fit the script. But trust me, it, when you start paying bills, Shang, you'll understand the, the, the pain. And then it's like, then they're like, well, we want to confirm who you are. Well, if somebody else is calling to pay my bills, why the fuck aren't you letting them? I don't care if you can confirm who they are. Just let them pay my bills. You know? You shouldn't have to prove who you are to pay your bills. Just take the damn payment. Okay, I'm going to grab a couple sugar, a glass, and then we're going to go back. Dude, what is with this loading stuff today? This is terrible. Oh, apparently I'm out of space. Perfect. Oh my god, I know. The music is terrible. It's the worst. The worst is the doctor's office, because there's no music. It's just like, we at the Ever Clinic, we want to serve you. Come get your flu shot. Shut up. You're next in line. It'll be 45 minutes. The worst is when you don't remember the options and you're like, okay, was it two? Was it one? Was it three? And so you start hitting them like, cause you're in a hurry. Right. And you're like, okay, it was two. Then it was three. Then it was one. And they, then they make you listen to the whole thing before they allow you to make your selection. It's like, oh, you bastards. What happened to just hit zero and get somebody on the phone? So that by the time you do get on the phone with somebody, you're in such a pissed off mood. 
You don't even remember why you called. I hate calling places. I really do. I'm not going to lie. All right. Let me see how many. Oh, cool. We're done with the minerals. I think... Going to let's see if we get lucky. I probably won't do this task, but let's see if we get lucky and get the wave simoleons. Actually, you know which ones I want? I want limestone. Just give me limestone. So that I can get the stupid um trees. Ah, cool. Gave me limestone. Okay. Oh, perfect. Minerals again. Yay. How fabulous. Ooh, these people are not happy with me. What did I do to you? Whoops. Oh, that sucks. You guys are probably jumping out your windows. Oh, wait. No, you're not. Why aren't you burning? Oh, yes, you are. Okay, that makes me happy. You're on fire. Dude. I was watching some really fucked up episode the other night. I can't remember what show it was on, but it was... Uh, one of those like murder shows, but for whatever reason, it wasn't a murder show. It was like your worst, it wasn't your worst nightmare, but anyways, it was something like that, but there was a bad breakup and this guy had went into this girl's work and he just all of a sudden started throwing liquid on her. He had one of those mustard squirter things and he had used it and he had put gasoline in it and there was a store clerk standing next to her behind the counter. And he fucking threw a match on her and he torched her. It's like, oh my god, dude. The, that has got to be like the worst thing you could do to somebody. To burn them alive. It was horrible. And they were trying to to put her out. But by the time they did, she had like third degree burns every, or second degree or whatever. And her whole face was melted. It was horrible. But you, you start realizing like, look how many people do that. They break up and they, they scar them for life. They'll like throw acid in their eyes and make them blind. <laughs> Or whatever. And so after watching that, I remember back, I had showed CPT this, but it was this girl, her and her boyfriend had broke up. They were only together, I think like a year. I can't remember her name, but uh, I saw her story on YouTube and it says, girl gets her, her face bit off. And I'm like, what the fuck? She had met up with this guy. Uh, that she was with for like a year or something. They have, they were in high school and they had dated. And she was sitting in her car and she had met up with him to give him his stuff back. And he had used it as an excuse to try to, you know, meet up with her and get her back. And so she's like, no, you know, we're not getting back together. It's not going to happen. Here's your stuff kind of thing. And so he leaned in her window like for a kiss and he latched on to her bottom lip and he bit her lip off and then he spit it on her lap. And she picks her lip up off her leg and she's just literally screaming. There's blood everywhere. And I'm just like, Ugh. oh my God, that's horrible. Dude, she had to have surgery on her face like 20 something times or some shit. But he bit a huge chunk of her face off. And I just remember looking at her, um, her surgery photos and, and like now she's like an advocate for domestic violence and stuff like that. So that's it's, it's good that she found a way to, like, make something, I guess, positive out of something really bad. 
but I just remember thinking, holy shit, what is wrong with people? So if you ever break up with somebody or see somebody coming at you with a, a cup of liquid or something, run. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, fuck that. They ain't there to just douse you in water. Don't let anybody lean in for a kiss and Freddy Cougar your face off. That's fucked up. People are sick, man. And he said that he did it because he wanted to scar her for life. He didn't, you know, people are like jealous of the fact that somebody else might want you or something. It's like, God, people are sick. Anyway, I don't remember why that popped into my head, but it did. But I just remember thinking how fucked up people are. And, you know, you think, oh, it won't happen to me, you know. But, man, there's some weirdos out there, let me tell you. Once you start watching all those, um, like, murder shows and stuff, you realize, like, how often this shit really happens. I've seen so many documentaries. It's not even funny. I'm currently looking for another... You know, I did buy Minecraft. Um, I just haven't played it yet. I started to, but I've never... Uh, I don't know. How do I explain this? I always thought it looked like shit, but then I was looking on YouTube, and I was looking at some of the cities that people build, and they built some badass stuff. You gotta be... You gotta, if you have a really creative mind, Minecraft seems to be... A pretty badass game. I just haven't... I haven't really given it a try. Kind of like City Skylines. I haven't given it enough of a try to say if it's my thing or not my thing. I guess is what I should say. But it looks pretty badass. I like puzzle games or strategy RPGs. I really like, you know, platformers. I like a lot of different types of games, honestly. But I would say probably my favorite is, um, you know, games that make you think. Games that aren't just brain-dead, you know, button smashers. So, I mean, some of the button smashers aren't, you know, totally brain-dead, but you get my point. One of my favorite games growing up was uh, Yoshi's Island. I really liked that one. Trine is another one that is a game I play on here sometimes because that one's like a puzzle game. I was looking into what is that? It's I, I want to say it's Daisy, but I don't think that that's what it's called. It's like a survival one. It might be Daisy, or no, it's not Doomsday. Can't remember. It's on PS4, um, and then. I was really into, like, Mario growing up, Donkey Kong, what else, Diablo, Diablo 2, played that a uh, shit ton growing up with SimCity 2000 on PC, Sims in general, I loved the Sims. I, the only Mario I hated was Mario Sunshine. I wasn't a big fan of Mario uh, N64, but I really liked Paper Mario. Mario 2, I, I kind of hated, not going to lie. The one where you pop the vegetables out of the ground, I hated that. But Super Mario 3 was my favorite, where you get the little, uh, like, frog suit and stuff. All the 90s babies know what I'm talking about. Remember that genie thing, and you had the little hand? It was like, doot, 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 doot. I used to play Pac-Man a lot. Anybody here remember? It's like three of them, but um, one of them you had, there was a bra, and you would fling the little elves, and you would have to hit the balloons. Or when Taco Bell put out the, remember when we had floppy drives for PC? They put out the, the Taco Bell games, and you, you had like a mild sauce, a hot sauce packet that you would use to attack the enemies with. God, I sound old. 
fucking floppy disk. I remember playing Atari growing up. That was awesome. You just had nothing but a, a one stick and a button. God, video games have come so far. Super Nintendo was pretty awesome. That one, I, I really liked that one. Anybody ever remember that stupid... Um, the one on PC that was in the solitaire section and it had all the gray squares and you would click it and you would hit like the bombs or whatever. God, that was a nightmare. I hated that. I sucked at that game. I would just click randomly. I don't know what cyberpunk is. I thought you guys were talking about. Let me look at the let me look at this here. Sorry, you guys. I don't know what that is, so no. I thought it was something like Steam. Not going to lie. <laughs> That's what I thought you were talking about. Oh. I I think I know what you're talking about. And yes, I used to play Aladdin. That shit was hard as hell. You know, I had a... Um, I had started collecting pictures of like 90s stuff. I was going to do a video on it. But you guys remember the old... 90s drinks they were called orbit and they had those weird little floating things in them and then we had um like the color changing spoons that had like uh lion king 3d doritos i saw those in the store they brought those back back when you used to get toys in your cereal the 90s were such a better time they really were not just because I grew up in it, but just in general, like the early 2000s. Oh, I forgot I already started that task. I gotta find some sugar. I just... If you look back at, like, some of the old TV shows, you know, the 90s shows, before cell phones, people lived, if that makes sense. They uh, Not that I would take away the way that technology has, you know, what it's become. I think that it's done good and bad, but it seems like people had more of a a life, if that makes sense. Like, they lived in a different way. If you go back to, like, look at some of the 90s uh, dramas and, and like, uh, sitcoms and stuff, like uh, Dawson's Creek or, you know, The Golden Girls... Grumpy Old Men was a good t uh, movie, not TV show. But then you've got, uh, you know, like the Law and Order from the, the earlier 90s time. You know, they just, they seemed like they were more, I don't know, like, advent I don't want to use the word adventurous. It just, you lived more, like, not just outside, but in general. Like, people actually spoke to each other. It's amazing how you can take something and that makes people, in a sense, more social with each other. That was the goal with MySpace and, and Facebook, but it made people less social. And I think that, it, I, actually, you know what? I don't even want to say it made people less social. I think they just made them less social in a specific manner. Like, you know how when you're speaking through text, it's almost easier to express yourself because you're not in front of the person? And I think that it, it made it to where people now, when they get, around people they're socially awkward like if you go into public it's considered weird if you talk to people in public if you if you just had some random person walk up to you and just start talking like it's almost like an uncomfortable like oh hey ha, ha like how are you kind of thing whereas it's amazing how we can frequent stores and and parking lots and places and be so in our own zone like it's so not human to to interact with other humans. Does that make sense? Like, it's weird to me. I don't have a problem going up and talking to people. But, like, my sister and her boyfriend, they are, like, super antisocial. So, like, back when I used to smoke cigarettes, we were in the casino one day. And I was like, hey, go ask that guy for a lighter. And he's like, no. Like, he was like, oh, hell no, I'm not doing that. I'm like, why? And he's like, I'll just go up and ask the lady for matches. So he walked to the other side of the casino rather than just asking the person next to me for a lighter and I'm like 
what the heck? I'll do it. So I get up and I'm like, hey, do you have a lighter? And they're like, oh, yeah, sure. And then, you know, all was well. But, like, he just thought it was preposterous to do such things. Like, why would you speak to somebody? How dare you speak to somebody? You know? It's just weird to me how so many people can be in one area and never talk, you know? I guess that's type A and type B personalities, though, you know? Some people are introverted and some people aren't. It seems like it's more than that, though. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of... Um, I guess the, the humor back in the 90s seemed like it was more dry humor. And the humor now seems more perverted, if that makes sense. Like, if you watch a comedy from the 90s, odds are most of the time it's dry humor. Like, Golden Girls Funny or, you know, Grumpy Old Men, Plain Strains and Automobiles, uh, Uncle Buck. What about Bob? Those are all dry humor type movies. But as you go further, you know, in the, the millennial era, like, you know, or maybe like 2010 or so, everything just went really perverted. Like nowadays, if it's a comedy, it's like, okay, it's more of a porno than it is a comedy. It's like, who got their dick stuck in a VCR? Somebody glued their, their hand to their butt, you know. Somebody walked in on their mom having sex with a rabbit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's that ridiculous. Ah, be you. See if I can make it there in time. Okay, you're level 13. You should not be selling your VU. I'm always, like, scolding people on Global. Like this. Why are you... Oh, no. I see a restart in someone's future. What do you guys think? You guys ever do that now? You're on Global and you're, like, looking, going, uh-oh. Somebody's messing up big time. Sometimes I'll stick around and see if they post anything else. Yep. Unfortunately, we've all been there. The ones that really get me are the ones that know they should restart, but they're they're so stubborn. They're like, but I'm they're hanging on for dear life. I can make it work. They waste like they're like I don't want to waste my time. And I'm like, you're just wasting more time and then they're like no, but I can make it work. And then like maybe two months goes by. Same person without fail hits me up. All right. I finally said fuck it and gave in. Restarted. And then they're like, this is my first week and I'm already doing so much better. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I'm like, mm-hmm. You were so worried about wasting time, yet you just wasted another two months. And then they're sitting next to me singing the same tune to somebody that was in their position. And that, that per It's like a cycle, you know? And then that person ignores them, and yeah, we repeat the vicious cycle. You know, if you guys are on any Facebook groups or anything, if you see people, like, asking questions or whatever, you can always link my videos. Like, if somebody's asking, oh, how not to be broke or whatever, if you just click share on my video, it'll show you an option. It'll say copy link, and then you can just copy and paste it to, like, a comment section. And that'll help the channel grow and, and all that. Also, even if you're a subscriber, you know, hit the like button. Even if you just leave a brief comment, it makes the video get, you know, better monetization. All right, let me see if I can. Does anybody in my club on here have sugar in their depot that they're getting rid of? Because I could use like 40 sugar. I got to get some donuts and pink drinks going here on a token. I haven't been seeing very much sugar, so. No! Oh, wait, I started it, right? Phew. Okay, that's okay then. Start that. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a, a 90s... A 90s movie thing, or uh, video, but also... 
I'm going to be doing a duct tape wallet video as well, along with backpacks, laptop bags, shit like that. I have the camera to do it. I just haven't messed with it to see how it works yet. And I was hoping to get a computer put together before I did that, but we'll see. But I make some badass duct tape crafts. But I gotta get some fashion duct tape first. I made a laptop bag for my cousins out of the Despicable Me, the Minions. It was pretty cool. Okay, I'm on my way. Hang on. Let me fill up this and then I'll head over there. I think you're on my friends list here. Yeah, okay. I also found those Lake 22 pictures I was going to show you guys. <clears throat> Ooh, you have feed. I'm always looking for feed. If you end up feeding textiles, if you end up selling them. Sometimes if I see that you guys post like two or three of something, even if I don't need it, I'll buy it from you guys to clear the space up in your depot. Let me look at what you got going on here. Aha, this must be your three red roads. Ah, you've got the... I see you're building some walls here. You're trying to block people out. You just like looking at all the different kinds. I kind of like the... I haven't seen these out yet. I haven't messed with them. I think I'm going to be able to do something really cool on the uh, cactus map with those. I have an idea. Actually, you know what? I might be able to do something on the limestone map with those. If I did like a Chinese theme at the top, maybe. Mm, not sure. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. I re they better give us something good for Valentine's Day, damn it. I really want that damn stupid teddy bear with the heart. I never got that one. I wish they'd do the game boards again. Those were fun. They haven't done anything like that in like two, two years, maybe. Alright. Let's get this squared away here. And that one. Now I'm going to go back over and try to get a couple of things done here. Minerals for 900. Yeah. I'll make some chemicals then. I need chems to make a few things that I actually need. Oop. Surprisingly, chemicals are actually really hard for me to find at my level. And textiles. Total pain in the ass. If anybody needs any paint, I have a shit ton of paint. Just let me know. Got like 60 of them. Okay. Let's go back over here. Let's see what I can get done over here. So right now I've got coverage in this area. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll be over there in, in a few minutes. I think you're on my friends list, aren't you?
What's your city name again? I think it was this one, isn't it? The the 20 right next to garden. Okay, hang on. I got to focus on something for a minute. Let me go to a couple of my maps here and see what I got going on. Okay. Also, anybody on my friends list or in my group, if you're ever selling regional items to global, sell them to me. I will always buy them. Okay? I use them for epics, and I would rather sell them for regional coins than sell them for regular coins. That's the mummy thing. So I'm thinking I might do the red wall, so I'm going to take this wall down and maybe use this somewhere else. It's more likely what's going to happen. I don't think I've earned any of the red wall pieces. And I'm going to, you guys should save your keys until we know what's going to go on for Valentine's Day. Because it would suck if you spent them all and then you find something you want. That's the only reason I haven't bought a bunch of walls. Okay, what, who are you? What's your uh, city name? I can't remember what your profile picture looks like. Is it this one? I don't think it is. This isn't you, is it? Yeah, no. I wonder what he's got going on. Hmm. Okay. I will, I'm almost tempted to go look at Steiner's map, but I'm afraid my stream will break. the hell? I don't know who I clicked, but hopefully I don't take something somebody needs. Give me a second, I'll head over there. I accidentally clicked the wrong one. Well, I hope, <laughs> I hope this wasn't shit somebody needed. I don't remember who this is. If it is and you're on my stream, I'll give it back to you. Just let me know. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Crimson Mage. Oh! Okay. I know who that is now. All right, thank you, Wilson. <coughs> they used to show, when you would go to the person's city, right here where the 14 is, they used to show the face, kind of like what they, they do here with the profile picture. They used to show it up there when you go to the city. They don't do it anymore. I don't know why. Oh, that's right. I think you restarted, didn't you? You guys, I'm also going to be doing a video. Anybody here like trivia games? There's this really badass trivia game called Quiz Up. And you can battle your friends, but you can pick like any any topic at all they have. These trivia games are badass. I'm going to show it to you guys here in a little bit. But it's fun because they, you battle against each other. Um, I'll show you guys. Hold on. You can battle against 
other people, but the, well, I guess what's fun about this one is you're going against your friends and you can pick any damn topic you can think of. I'll show it to you guys. Okay, it's called Quiz Up. Well, that, okay, so like when I play with CPT, I usually play, um, it should flip, hopefully it flips. If not, you guys might have to turn your screen. So you go to topics here. I have my, yeah, your, um, your screen here. And you can, like I said, you can pick any topic you want. So what? I don't care if people know my name. Give a shit less. Okay. So you do random opponent or you do like uh, a person on your friends list. So I'll just do random opponent. Okay. Damn, that's loud. Did the sound go away for you guys for that game? I think it does if I turn it down on my screen. I was expecting it to um, to be able to, to turn, but whatever. But anyways, fuck if I know. I don't know that one. F you. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't know that either. Really? It's not? I'm surprised. There's a 90s one that's really badass. Jesus, I well this, how is that even a video game related? Or maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know the video game. You're probably like, that's a video game, dumbass. Okay, that one I knew. Sorry if this screen sucks for you guys. Okay, so... Anyways, I'm going to go back. I'll do one more bit. What I was going to show you guys is... So when you battle against the person... Notice how uh, there was a timer. If me and you, like, let's say we battle against each other and you answer, we both answer correctly, we both get points, but the person that answered faster gets more points than you. And then there's a bonus round, which is the very last one. But you can search any topic. There's an obscene amount, but like, okay, Golden Girls is something that like, I know a lot about, right? I don't know if there's anything on Sim... Let's see if there is a SimCity one. Because people make these. So, anybody... Okay. Let's do SimCity. Create the city of your dreams. I don't know if they... Oh, that's a person. Okay. So, this one... Anyway, but uh, the other thing I was going to show you guys is there's like logos, 90s, general knowledge. But if you look here, see where it says four points. And then if certain topics have a lot more questions than other topics, like you may get one that only has like 10 different questions in it. So you'll notice each time you play it, it's the same general questions. But the, the more popular topics have more questions. And then people post stuff about it. So you hit play. Random. <coughs> sometimes you get a computer. Sometimes you get a person. But usually when me and CPT play, he picks one, I pick one. The boss. I don't. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Have you guys heard of that car? Which car my boss? Arms. I 
don't know that one either. Bora. Eh, maybe. <coughs> Which company holds a royal warrant from vehicles? Fuck if I know. Some of these questions are... Okay, hold on. Who is the... Don't know that either. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I should have done car repair. <laughs> uh, duh. don't know. I failed that miserably. Okay, anyways, you guys get the point, but that's a badass game. <coughs> I downloaded another game, but I don't see it on here. I think I might have uninstalled it. But there's another game I was going to play on here, but I gotta figure out what it's called again. You know they put, I think it's like 8,600 and something levels of Candy Crush now? Fucking nuts. I mean, I felt like it was my whole life at level 600. Back to this and then what I was doing over here. What time is it? Okay, it's 10.30. I'm going to have to go here in about 20 minutes, and then I'm probably going to be at home streaming Realm for a little bit. You know, I used to play it when I was homeless because it was like the only game that would run on my phone years and years and years ago. But it was really fun at first because it made you really think. Like, if if you really wanted to, to progress, like, past a certain point, you know, it actually got pretty difficult. But um, it it almost, it fell off when they started doing like Soda Crush and all these other games. I didn't like any of those, so I stuck with the, the normal Candy Crush. But it fell off. They started adding things like um, the jelly in the background. That was fine. But they had these like rotating things. Like you'd make a move and, and everything would like spin. And then you had like these black uh, blocks that you had to break through. And it just, I don't know. It started to get a little bit too ridiculous. And some of the, the if you look up like the most difficult levels of Candy Crush, some of the beginning levels are some of the hardest. Oh shit, I forgot about that stupid thing. Damn it. What am I? I got. Oh, well, it's just a stupid bronze token. No big deal. Um, nope, I, I've never played those. I tried and I just wasn't into them. You know, I honestly, I hate math. I'm not going to lie. The, about the only thing I really like when it comes to math is lattice was pretty fun. I learned that when I was in elementary school. But I understand, like, why it's a little ridiculous when you're looking in terms of, of uh, smaller multiplication, you know, why you wouldn't want to use lattice, but it's still a really cool math tool. But I've never been into like numbers and there was another one. It's not called Sudoku, but it's called, I think it's like 4801 or, or something like that, but it's a really weird math game my uncle was playing on his phone. You had to make the numbers equal that number or some shit. I used to like a lot of the crime scene, like solve the crime style games, but they got really corny. 
or I would think way too in detail than what they were doing, you know? Like, I'm thinking that there's some, like, big hidden meaning and, and twist, and it's like, nope, he stabbed her with the bloody dagger that's just sitting there. It's like, oh, okay, that was easy. I was playing Trine 4 yet yesterday, or the day before yesterday, and Trine 4 was pretty fun. I used to play a lot of that Spyro, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Borderlands 3, I really liked Borderlands. That was fun. It, it just was crazy how many guns you get in that game, though. Dude, I swear, like, no matter what, you're always finding some different kind of gun. I used to play a lot of that uh, 007 back when you throw the hat at the guy. Another game that was really fun on PS3 was that Alice game. It was like super dark. God of War was fun. With, it had like the ridiculously huge uh, weapons and battles that you would do. I used to play a lot of Tetris. I have a picture of all my retro video games. I found it the other day. It's just this whole wall of video games. Oh, crap. I have stuff on Global. Never mind. I was going to post those, but never mind. Any, if anybody knows of any decent puzzle games, though, let me know. I'm always looking for RPGs or strategy. I used to play The Reckoning on PS3. I tried to get into, like, Horizon Zero Dawn but and uh, Red Dead Redemption. tried to get into those, but I couldn't really get into them. Mario Kart? I love Mario Kart, dude. I bought that for my Switch. Yes, I love Mario Kart. Right next to the airport, there is a depot. Click what? Are you talking to me, Wilson? Oh. Tommy. Okay. Yeah. So... Shang. Just ignore that guy. He's trying to be funny. All right. Today we will be talking about how to boot Shang from the channel, permanently. I need to find a place for all the... You know what I was thinking is... I don't know if I want to do that though. I was thinking about adding a few more taller epics back here, but I don't think so. I'm trying to think of what what uh, style I would even do it if I was to do that. Ah! Why are the trees missing? Oh my god. That's terrible. That looks horrible. Why didn't you guys say, hey Missy, you have trees missing? Okay. Do not start acting like a two-year-old. You're going to get me pissed off.
All right. Like, seriously, everything's going fine. We're all doing good. And then you're just like, hey, let me be annoying. No. Nobody likes to be annoyed. Especially Missy. Missy does not like to be annoyed. Okay. Why is my game not... There we go. So, in this area here... I'm contemplating, shut up, I don't know where you're talking about, dude. Anyways, that doesn't matter right now. I'm trying to figure out what to do <coughs> up here. Wait a minute, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work there. Oops. Wrong way. Do you know what my... Let's see. That's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to go to the... I'm busy focusing on this. Don't worry about it. I'll deal with that later. I don't know why I'm making paint. I have so much paint. Oops, wrong button. Let's go to the Frosty map real quick. And they're in full swing today. There's like 10 of them. Okay. So as you can see, I've torn this all to hell. Oh, I haven't touched that since the Christmas stuff was out. Okay, I don't see anything here that I need on my capital. I don't see any landmarks or anything that look... No, that's not going to work. Okay, let's go this way. <coughs> you know, I've thought about putting like this or this back on my capital, but they look really good here, so I don't think so. I forgot, what did I have here? I'm gonna have to go back and look at one of my videos to remember what I had there. I need to put some of this stuff back. And I know what that was. The what? Uh, yeah, that's not going on my frosty map. You're crazy. Hail to the no. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do over here. I have so much designing I have to do, it's not even funny. I'm running out of buildings though, to be honest with you. Oh, I'm getting bad allergies, what the hell. Must be allergic to seagulls.
That guy's car just completely backfired. Probably blew up on him. Oh, I have plenty of paint to make a million yoga mats if I wanted. I just need a bunch of blue techs. Some of these are just ridiculously expensive. There's no way. Okay. No clue what I want to do on this map. You know, I was thinking what might look cool on this map is if I was to take deltas on each side of the beach here and then just run water from uh, each side. I'm gonna take that out. But again, I'm not seeing anything like building wise here, worth any of the value to me. For what? What do you need 20 paint for? Told me what four months ago? The thing with the water and the delta? I've been thinking that since the Green Valley map came out. If that's what you're talking about. The new side pass, what do I think about it? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't like the new pass to begin with, honestly, but the only thing that I do like about the pass is the one uh, building at the end and then the walls. So the side pass, I like the walls and I mean, the storage is nice, but honestly, I think it sucks in terms of, I think that they could do better. Um, with the buildings and stuff, it's, like I said, it's nice when they give us free walls because if you look here, um, the regional coins are cool, cash isn't bad, and it's stuff that you would be doing anyways, you know? So it's like win-win, I guess, as long as you don't have to pay for it, that is, and you're doing just the contest to mayor's assignments, and it's fine, but yeah, if you have to pay for it, then it's kind of a ripoff, obviously, but, um, you know... I'm doing it for the walls and I'll probably give, I, or I know I'll give CPT the storage and then, um, you know, VU is always nice, but I think that they need to seriously step up their game and really make the game about designing again. But why would they when everybody that plays the game is so focused on finding rares? And that's why I made the game um, about designing again. That's what I'm trying to do anyway is get people to get the the general bullshit of their city figured out. That way they don't have to focus six years on hunting storage. They can get that shit done early on and then focus the game around other things. Maybe if enough people complain about the buildings being shit, maybe they'll do something. Who knows? But so many people focus on hunting rares for always in eternity. It's like, ugh, that's miserable. But, you know, the side pass isn't terrible, I guess. Could be a lot worse. I really do not like this pass, though. I'm not going to lie. That the only, like I said, the only thing really worth a damn is the um, one castle at the end. Everything else I hate. Okay. It'd be cool if they did something like with fireworks, like rockets, something more colorful, maybe uh, a unicorn or something, like a statue, maybe some fountains, like, you know, really large fountain that you could put in like the center. Some more stuff like the deltas, you know, where the water, so many people like to, to use water in their city, do stuff with water, uh, stuff that interacts a little more maybe. Bridges, some cooler bridges would be nice. A really dark black castle with bats would be cool. 
Oh, there's lots of cool shit they could do. I want the Space Needle. That drives me crazy. I don't know why we don't have the Space Needle. I feel like that's like off alignment there. No, that was a little more off alignment. Ah. Now it's even off to the right. It's just not going to center, I guess. Whatever. Hmm. Oh, that's the same. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. I think I might actually cut the water down here and put a delta here, possibly. Where? Okay, it goes to there. So let's see. Let's move these. Okay. I'm going to get rid of these. I'm trying to figure out what to do down here. If I should just do trees, animals, water, what? <coughs> what do you need, Shang? God, Jesus. This close. This close. I am busy. Stop doing things deliberately to drive me crazy. I've said this 10 times. Yes, I bet you did. You just realized right now when I'm busy. Honestly, I don't need storage. I don't have to use them. I would only be taking them to give them to CPT or somebody else that needs them. So maybe help somebody else. CPT is really close to maxing his out. So I've been giving him all the storage that I find. All right, I'm going to leave this here. Actually, hold on. I think I'm going to move this somewhere else. Normally, I would leave it there and just kind of hide it. But I want to get it out of the way. Where can I put this stupid thing? <sighs> Maybe if I move these down just a little bit. Wait a minute. I'd have to move this one. Let's put that one there. And then I might be able to put this one right there. Oh, 
What? Uh. What the hell is that? It's gonna do this stuff to me that I hate. one of those things I remember when I placed it here it was a pain in the ass to get it to place oh my god <sighs> why do you want it place up there though what the hell It should place there. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. That was ridiculous. You see what I'm saying? It wouldn't place there like that. How stupid. Let's see if I can do... <sighs> now that it's dark, I can't see anything. Okay. I think I'm going to put that back right there. And then I'll put the, the dark one there. Like that. Ah! Almost looks like there's a space open there, doesn't it? Guess not. It just kind of looks like it. Oh, okay, I see now. Why is it so damn dark? Still pretty damn dark. Now it's lightening up. Okay. Now. <sighs> oh, shut up, lady. She's over there honking her horn. Congrats on what? What'd I do? Oh, got it? Oh, yeah. Now what the hell is that space? How did that get there? Dude, that thing was a pain in the ass. It did the same thing to me down here. There's also like a glitch on the side of the map over here. When you try to place a bridge, it was like right in this area here. It will not let you place a fucking bridge. How do you manage, man? You're something else. Wait a minute, your your storage isn't maxed out, is it? I don't recall you maxing out your storage. Or why are you even selling VU and stuff? Like, I don't understand. Dude, obviously if you globaled it, then they're going to be gone. You know, by the time I get there, they're going to be long gone. Then why are you selling shit? And which city am I going to?
Like, I don't understand why the hell you're selling shit if you're not maxed out. That doesn't make any sense. You don't need the coins, so what's the deal? Okay, you and I both know that if you globaled these, they would have been gone. How stupid do you think I am? Come on now. I am not that dumb. Anything else while I'm here? Thank you, by the way. I'm going to be helping people. So you globaled one and then you, you tossed the others. Okay, I see what you're saying. I'll probably help Bree with some of these because I know she's really low on VU. You probably just put them in there from the keyboard. If you hold down on your keyboard, there's buttons. Which dozer do you need? I don't know if I have any, but I'll look. I know, I th actually, I think I have a couple. I don't, I don't know what you need, but... I don't use dozer anymore, so... Oh my god! I forgot about this! How did I forget about this? God damn it. Question is... Do I put it... Oh my god! Who are you talking to, Shang? Bruh? Who are you talking to? I don't even know who you're talking to. I'm, I'm busy trying to do something. I don't know if you're talking to Wilson. I don't know who you're talking to. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you pick when I stream to post shit. I said this all day yesterday. I said this in the message this morning when I talked to you before I started streaming. I said, do not post shit when I'm on a stream. I'm busy. I mean, it's not like it's once. It's like the whole time I'm streaming. Missy, go to my city. Missy, go to my city. I'm in deep thought. I'm trying to design. You made me forget about this. I'm over here, like, about ready to have an aneurysm. I still don't know who he's talking to. That's what you said last time. You're like, okay, after you stream, then you do, okay? And I'm like, yes, okay. And then you're like, Missy, I globaled. Better go now. I don't even know what city I'm supposed to go to. half tempted to go see what Steiner has going on in his map, but I can't. Because I'm pretty sure it'll break my stream. I don't know why. I don't know why it does that. Shang, are you in the hacker group at this city or something? Is that what's going on here? Okay. All right. I mean, I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to give it to people. I'm just saying, man, it's like, fuck, I'm trying to do something, you know? I'm not going to give them to CPT right now. 
because I have shit on global. But as soon as this stuff sells, I'll give him the storage and then let Bree, let me see what dozer I have for you. All right, that's what dozer I have. I have four blades and three of each of the others that you can have. But right now I don't want to put anything up because I, I think I have like four or five things on global, so. Unless I wasn't paying attention to what all I had on global. All right, Shang, thank you. Now, from now on, no more posting when I'm on a stream. Okay. Trading his for VU or whatever he, he wants to do. I don't think I'm under shield anymore. Let me double check. Okay, cool. So, for those of you guys who don't know how a jackpot works, anybody on the stream, if you look here, you're going to do your booster. The green ones are the ones that you have available. Then you click jackpot, and this is the times two, the times, uh, or not times two, well, yeah, two times. That's how many I have, is two of them. Then I have 17 of those and 10 of the others. So there's level one, two, and three. This one goes for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So if you're just going to be launching on it one time, then there's no sense in wasting like a, a level two or a level three jackpot. Unless you plan on doing like a shield bust. Okay, so Bree, if you're on the game... Wrong guy, don't launch on that guy. Shit, damn it. Oh well. Um, Bree, if you're on, you can hit this. Jackpot. I know, it sounded like drugs. You can hit this. Oh, fuck. Now I've got... That one's four. Let's see. I think I'll do that one. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to remember what else I have here. There we go. All right, Bree, you can go ahead and hit that. <laughs> all right. Collect all this garbage. War stuff. Yippee. Let's see what I get in here. Oh, boy. Yippee. No, oh, thank you. All right. Yep. Now you can see what that person does. So this is the war log. How many people have hit it? You know, who's launched jackpots and so on. So it says this jackpot's good for 8 minutes, 49 seconds. Tells me that she hit with the B-movie attack. So if I wanted to or somebody else wanted to, they could shield bust him. And his jackpot would go up to 7 because it would repair the damage for 7. So I usually try to use all my War Simoleons on jackpots, and I usually buy only the first one, and then I let it reload. Okay. So if you're somebody who's planning to play in Mega, you really should be doing that. You should be launching as many war attacks as possible on either the monster or the the people, you know, that you're going against in war. That way you get that VU pass unlocked. Save all of your war cards. Now, here's another thing that you guys really need to pay very close attention to. I had a situation last week where somebody in my comm... I can't remember who it was, but in my comm training course had a, um, a 3K upgrade war disaster attack thing as their assignment. But the problem was, was they already knew that they weren't going to win this round of Mega. Okay. Now, given the fact that they knew that they weren't going to win, they were going to get second place anyways, I advise them not to do their 3K upgrade task because they're very limited to those. Keep that in mind. If you know you're not going to win and it's a waste, then don't waste it because you're only going to be able to do those assignments for so long. Then it's going to require an obscene amount of keys and war cards to max them out. And eventually, it's going to get to the point where you can't do them at all. 
Okay. Now that might be a, a ways away, but there's no point in wasting that easy 3K task for a round that you inevitably aren't going to be winning anyways. So just keep that in mind, you guys, the people that are playing calm. And do not do that task unless you're in Mega and you have a chance at winning. And try to upgrade either the one that you're going to be using, you know, the most to get the points, or the cheapest at the time. Okay, so let's bulldoze this. What time is it now? All right, you guys, I got to get off here for a little bit. I have to go do some stuff, go to the store, and then I'll be home, probably streaming Realm. So, good luck. Yeah, exactly. The 108 keys, yeah, that's a pain in the ass. Okay, I need popcorn for that. What was the... Did I finish this task? Oh yeah, I did, okay. Let me see what else I got going on here. Huh, well I can do that, that's no problem. Car crashes? Oh, that wasn't me. Yeah, that was bad. Bad accident. We had a stabbing here in Linwood two, day two days ago or yesterday, I can't remember which, but it was a 60 year old guy. He got stabbed by, I think it was like three teenagers, if I remember right. It's pretty fucked up. It's gotten crazy here. Okay. I need a... Yeah, it was bad. We've had a, a homicide at the motel here. Um, we had another guy shot just right down the street from my house couple drive-bys on the, the main road that I, I live on here. I mean, it's just, it's gotten really bad. Okay, you guys, like I said, keep your eye on the global market. There's going to be a lot of storage out because of the side pass. People are going to be selling that stuff. Honestly, though, you know, first off, I'm never leaving Washington. Second off, um, the problem is, is when you actually look up the crime stats for like the city that you live in, now obviously this doesn't apply to everybody, but the vast majority of people don't realize how much crime happens in their area. I happen to run the crime page, so I'm a little more aware of it, but I looked up the, uh, the crime statistic reports for Washington state, but then I was looking at the crime reports for other states and other cities, and there's really, honestly pretty much everywhere is, is equally as bad. You start looking up violent crimes like, you know, robberies and stabbings and rapes, and you'll notice that the, the count is really high. So for instance, last year in Washington state alone, we had 200 homicides. And that's the, the average every year. You know, it goes up between like 190 and 200. But for the most part, that's a lot of people, you know, you got to think, in one year, we had 200 people killed. That doesn't include the people that go missing. That's just homicides. So the coroner, you know, they made the report and they did homicide, not suicide or missing persons. That's crazy. That's almost, uh, what, one, it's like 1.8 days or some shit is the, they have like a little clock that they do. It's called a crime clock. And then they show like every so many minutes a rape occurs or, or whatever. And that was in Washington state alone. So then you start looking up other cities and other states in the area and it's like, Jesus, it's actually really bad everywhere. I think the, the worst one is California right now. I'm pretty sure it was California. And I want to say Alaska, but I'm not sure. I think that was one of the higher ones too. But violent crimes have just skyrocketed. You know, robberies and, and rapes and stuff are, are pretty high, but missing persons and homicides have just went through the roof. It's insane. You know, you think, oh, well, it happened to me. And then you start really looking into like some of these documentary TV shows and it's just nuts how many people go missing, you know. But I run a crime page, so I see that shit all day long. And I also run missing persons for Washington State. We've got quite a few people that, like, their stuff just, it's crazy. It doesn't make any sense, you know? 
couple of them have really bothered me over the years. You know, like Lindsay Baum, her case has always bugged the hell out of me. I don't know why I left with two space. God, I'm an idiot. I'll take the sugar. Might as well. Oh, look. He's got a little little area here. His little at level 18. He's going he to regret that. Poor guy. Doesn't even know. These things, I hate these things. These little, like, HQs. God, those things are hideous. All right. All right, you guys. I'm going to go. I will see you tomorrow. Um, I think so. Yes, I do. I have more if somebody takes them. So come on over here. I'll give you a few minutes. Yep. I need something to finish this task. What do I need? Three tape measure. Wait, is that a residential? No, it's okay. Okay, so I need three tape measures. And one smoothie and two, two flour. That's what I need. And I need space. I know. I need people to start sharing my videos, liking them, commenting on them, subscribing. People are, people always hit me up. They're like, oh, I wish I could give back to you. And it's like, you can share my videos, like my stuff, comment. That's how you can give back to me. You know, share it on Facebook or wherever. Groups, Reddit. Your group members. Shit, I probably should have seen. Okay, yeah, that's right. So I think I've got the... Oh, yeah, no problem. All right. I got to head to the store and then get home, so... If anybody has a smoothie in my group, I need a uh, smoothie. I need one smoothie. Two flour. Three tape. Oh, wait, I don't think I have nails anymore. Okay. All right. Let's see. Awesome. Thank you. Get that done. All right, you guys, I will be back in a little bit. 